Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Gooms Pod. Before we get into this podcast, I just want to let you guys know that this podcast is brought to you guys from Tor Property Group. If you guys are looking for a stay in Manchester Deansgate for up to eight people, this is the perfect place for you. Everywhere that you can find them is in the description, so go and check them out. Use code Gooms10 for 10% off your next order. Peace! Everybody, welcome back to the Goons Podcast. This is episode 16, and we are joined by some very special guests today. Would you would you like to introduce, introduce yourself, sir? <laughs> I just like to start by saying this whole setup, these <laughs> cameras is just, I don't like being filmed. I don't know about anyone else in the room, but I don't like being filmed. I, fucking love I think everyone knows I don't, I don't like being filmed. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, no, do you guys want to introduce yourselves properly? He <laughs> <laughs> oh, comes back in. Oh, nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, pretty much. We them golden boys, yeah. just yeah. trying to, to make it. <laughs> golden boys. <laughs> yeah, golden boys. Got my brother, my dog, Jeeks LB. Yeah, man, we're here. We're excited. Pleasure to have you, Ready boys, yeah, man. Literally, Come obviously, on, man. me and Chris Pleasure have been watching be you guys' content for a hot minute, man. Like, seriously, like, going straight into the group chat. Yeah. You, I mean, on. I even show my mom and my sister, bro. <laughs> like, cro- yeah. I'll, I'll be honest. My mom, sometimes, she'll watch it, and she's like, well, I don't know why some boys would do something so silly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one of those it's things. one of them ones, bro. We, we, um, when we reached out, like, you boys, like, were the joke in our group chat, bro. Mm. Yeah. And even to have you boys here now, just... Just on the pod, bro, it's, it's dope for us. Oh, I know I know you boys were like, yeah, it's sick. They come, we can tell our stories and stuff, but yeah. it's just as dope for us to have mm. you, man, as well. So. And that's mad. That's, you know, as we were saying, to hear you, man, even say that's mad. Do you know what I mean? We're just we're just two guys just doing it, just doing what we what we enjoy, what we what we like doing, just pulling up, pulling pranks on people. There's not really much better that you can do, really. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's, 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 it's fun. <laughs> we appreciate it. We appreciate being here, man. It's so, dope. So Maybe the people that don't actually know, what do you guys actually do? Let you start, bro. So yeah, I've got a history in like finance, marketing, um, boxer. And then yeah, man, just just chasing dream, part dream, part dream chaser. Well. Part-time, part-time prankster. prankster. <laughs> trying, to, trying to make that shift into, into the full prank, full-time prankster kind of thing. But What made you guys actually start? How did we start? To be fair, you messaged me, didn't you? You Obviously, bro messaged me, he was like... Listen, like I've got, I've got similar idea as, as you. I, I always wanted to do the music. Yeah. He always wanted to do his boxing, and we wanted to do it on a great scale. We wanted to be big. We always wanted to be big, and it was like, how do we pull this together and make something of it? Like, what, what, what do we do that's similar that we can make us like a, a platform collective, a collective, yeah, and then we can then go from there and do the other stuff we want to do, the boxing, the music, and yeah. whatever, whatever else we find to do. And we just thought we're, we're too funny, man. We're too jokers. Why not just do what we do without the camera, with a camera, and yeah, see exactly. if it see if it works. That's it, bro. Like we've had the vision and the plan from the start. You know, people look at us and think we're two jokesters, pranksters. But I remember like yesterday, bro, I was I was sat scheming, thinking, you know what, like, you know, we need to get it. You know, I've always been a hungry, hungry motherfucker. And you're the same, aren't right? you? Yeah, I remember mm-hmm. I, I called him, I was like, Bro, I've got an idea. You know, like you're a talented guy with your music, bro. The music scenes, you're destined for it. You know, I, I don't know a guy with a flow like this. It's Fredo Jr. right here. <laughs> <laughs> Fredo. You look a little bit like it. <laughs> I've heard it. I've heard it. I've heard and it. I, I backed my hands. I was like, bro, we need it. I was, like, I, I was thinking. I was like, listen. Uh, so, yeah, we just had, we had the idea. I called bro. And bro was on it. And, and, and we've been on it ever since. Rest is history. Have you guys history. Have you guys been watching? Have you guys watched Nelk before? Yeah, yeah, is yeah. Kind of the pranks are, like, I know it's not the same, but a little bit similar. Yeah. Like, you guys are almost like the UK version. Yeah, definitely. I remember, like, a lot of the boys, like, a lot of the boys who aren't here, they'd always say to me, like, I'd be... We'd just be chilling and then they'd be like, they'd be showing me videos of Salim, you know, doing the most. Yeah, I was <laughs> just about to say <laughs> yeah, Salim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they'd be showing me that and they'd be like, jeeps, bro, like, you could do this. You could literally do this. Like, this was, uh, uh, we hadn't even had the conversation at this time. This mm. is years ago. And they're just like, jeeps, like, you are the kind of guy that would do this and you wouldn't. It's fucking <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, you know mean? It's so and good, bro. Even Brandon madness. was saying yesterday, I was on the phone to Brandon and Brandon was like, like, Louis, like, bro, do you realize that like, we've been doing this for years? Like, yeah. We've been doing the voices and, and, yeah. the, and the Digby and yeah, for years. Yeah, yeah, it's madness. UPB. I think yeah, that's bro. what makes it so special, though, because yeah, exactly. it's not, even though it, it's forced because it kind of is forced, you've mm. got to go out and you've got to do it. Mm. It's not forced because it was like, that's what that's what you man were up to anyway. Yeah, it's organic. It it, and it, it comes across like you man are in your element, bro. Yeah, fully. 
bullying. with people. When you're bullying, <laughs> it doesn't feel forced at all. Yeah. It feels so natural. People ask us, you know, how many times does it actually take to get the vids? Like, we hardly ever have to film twice, do we? Just bounce out with the camera, with big kitchen on the camera. We yeah. do our thing, <laughs> that's it. It's dope really what you boys are doing. And, and like, uh, we had this conversation off cam where you, man, like, were the meme of our group chat, bro. Which and we was, we, was, we wow. saw videos from time ago and I sent H a, mm. a DM and I was like, bro, these boys are coming, bro. They're coming, coming man. From, bro. Coming from, bro. What's, the, what's the end goal? The end goal I mean, is Nelk, bro. Like, we, we, we are going to bring Nelk to the UK. And mm. the reason why I feel like it's destined and it's inevitable and I believe in it so much is because I don't really want to say this on camera, but there's no competition. No competition. It's only us mm. doing what we're doing and that. I believe, like... I don't even like taking credit for the idea or because I, I believe it's God's plan. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm a holy person. I'm a man of God. I believe it's God's plan and it, it's just destined to be. And it makes sense. You can't make any more sense. Make with any more music, sense. You know, the boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the boys we've got. You know, it's just... You know when the collective came though. together? Mm. Did you guys almost... Because obviously everything's going on with YouTube boxing. Loads of YouTubers go with rapping now and stuff mm. like that. Did you guys kind of see that and think that maybe that would work? It was just... I, I, I think it was more just the fact that man were doing this and doing the boxing, doing the music, and it was kind of like me and bro are literally 10 times better than all these men that are doing it, and all these men are getting clout for doing it. So why are we sat here, you know, with all this talent? fucking bag, bro. Don't and forget about the big bag. You know what I mean? And the bag as well at the this. end of it, like the bag, like we're just sat here thinking we're 10 times better than these, man. Why are we not reaping any rewards from it? Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, probably so, so many other people like that. Though, 100%. 100%. But the difference between... The go getters and the guys that could have been go getters is yeah. you get up and go and fuck yeah, that's it, bro. Go get him, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, we will, we will clean up. We will clean up. Mm. You know, I will take out anyone in that YouTube boxing scene, the influencer boxing scene. I'll be running. Give them a couple names. Give them a couple names. I'll clean up everyone, bro. M Matthews, oh, Blueface, shit, shit. KSI, Deji, Deji, Deji. You've seen my face once already, bro. I tell you, you don't want to see it again. Oh shit! If I'm across for you, bro, just know it's Deji. Wait, when did wait when did you see Deji? <laughs> Goom's pod exclusives, baby. <laughs> <laughs> when, know, bro, when know, did you see Deji? You don't know about that, bro. Yeah. This guy's that where he jumped in the ring. That was Deji's fight. I didn't even know. Yeah, yeah. but Deji Wasabi. Imagine, Imagine this. Let me let me put it like this. I was at work. Are I was you at film that. It was one of the other oh, boys. Oh, okay. He's not here right now, but it was one of the other boys. I was at work up in Newcastle, and then I suddenly look at my phone and my, I'm blowing up. Like Golden Boys is blowing up, my my phone's blowing up, man is sending me messages. Have you seen what have you seen what Louis done? Have you seen what Brow's done? <laughs> I'm like, what has he done? Let me have a look. I go on it. And it, oh my like, god, who, who is this? Shit, like, There's a guy in the ring and I'm looking at him. This guy, why, why, why are you in the ring, sir? What is he doing in the ring? <laughs> 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 Imagine if you got into the ring, you were mic'd up and you did that. Did like, it? Sir, <laughs> no, <laughs> did it, did it. Boys, why are you punching each other? <laughs> We imagine we'd thought about that then. Yeah, we didn't yeah, even yeah. think about that then. That would have been. How did that idea come about? The the stupid voices. Oh, and stuff bro. Like that? So <laughs> we take it. We take it way back. Me and him, we fly out. I'm back home for. I've just come back from uni, mm. and content's a bit. It's not dried up, but we're not getting as the content that we necessarily should be getting. And I'm just. We're just sat there in this car park outside Morrison's, and we're just thinking of ideas. What can we do? What can we do? That's gonna be what's going to be funny. And I just think, like, why don't I just switch on you? And what a lot of people don't know, we were the first people that done the snitching on the cameraman prank. That's gone mm -hmm. huge. Like, you see some of the biggest TikTokers in America who've done that prank. Mm -hmm. No You've recognition. Shit, bro. Man, we're the first person that done that. And it's, mm -hmm. it's madness. It's madness. Bro but brought it to the world, actually. I brought it to the world. And, man got you know, blasted for it, actually. I got, <laughs> man, got plenty. For that. Plenty. But, yeah, it's, 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 it's madness. It's... Yeah, bro, I'm just, he had the point. idea, he started doing his thing, he was, we were in the car and he just hit yeah. me with the voice, but I was in tears, I was crying yeah. with laughter. The voice <laughs> came out of nowhere, like, obviously, nowhere. we all do a couple of funny voices every now and then, like, yeah, we don't, yeah, yeah. that's just our friendship group, yeah, we all, yeah, like, yeah. mess about, stuff like that. And I just thought, fuck it, I'll do it on camera and just see, see if it bangs or something mm. like that. Yeah, bro. It, it banged, it was a million views in about four hours. Bro, it was so Looking funny, bro. Yeah, it's me and bro so just hilarious. knew, we were like, listen, we need to... We need to just go all out with this, do as many as we can with this. Mm. What content were you guys doing before? Because obviously when Chris showed me you guys, when you guys were on about 10, 15K on TikTok, mm. it was a video of you rapping in the G-Wagon. Yeah, what yeah. came after that? Because I didn't come across you guys until it was, well, I probably did see the Deji video when it first came out, but I yeah. remember it from going across the account. Mm. But then I, when I came across you guys again, it was a third. <laughs> uh, like, like what was like in between when that content went dry? The first, faces. yeah, the we blew up off the faces. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nah, so I actually remember seeing those. And yeah. The, the, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so we just pull up to someone random and then we could be having a conversation. I could be chatting to you, man, like this and then just somewhere out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And then just like that. And then the fake vomit one I saw as well. On the train. That went crazy. That Which was one? That is a big one. one. Oh, on the train when he's pretending to throw up. Yeah, yeah I saw that yeah. before. I before I knew, kind of, I recognized that. Oh, these guys are doing this. Yeah. I when I came across to your page, I was like, "Shit, that was them." Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was like the first crazy viral vid. Yeah. And like, it's been going nuts ever since then. Like, me and bro, we like we don't have time to just sit and really just take in what we've done even to no, this you point, don't, bro. You don't because it's just yeah. so constant. Like. Today we're here, tomorrow we're somewhere else. Like, it's always just so constant. Like, we're on our shit. Like, so we don't really have time to sit back and be like, oh shit, we've done that. It's the like, process, no, bro. That's crazy. It, bro. It's mad to even think we're in this position now. Yeah. I kind of like it was, just, it was just an idea. And, bro, I feel blessed, bro. Like, I'm grateful. 100%. Mm. And even to be on this podcast, we like, we meet sick guys like you boys. Yeah. And, yeah. and so many other people that we get to connect with. Like, it's just. Met it's so blessed, many bro. people, so many people during this journey, and we've been on it a year and a bit. Yeah, it's literally it's, it's kind of the same as us, bro. Yeah, it's been ten years, yeah. isn't it? You boys are just starting out as well. Like, mm-hmm. where are you boys gonna be ten years from now, bro? We're all gonna be up, we're all gonna be eating. We're gonna be sat on a yacht. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be looking. <laughs> we're, 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 we're looking back at this, thinking, this, ah, shit, man, this is where <laughs> we were, man. Like, yeah. thinking, shit. Well, we we said it off camera, like it's it's stepping stones and things like yeah. this are so amazing because when we get to the places that we are destined to get to, mm. we look back and be like, shit, remember mm. that. And Remember it's just that. as well, we were saying this on camera as well, it's just it's just like looking back on memories. Like oh, yeah, we yeah, can look yeah, back man. at that's those MAGA thing. vids and be like, shit, that's what we were doing when we were there. And like yeah. all the other stuff, the old videos. I was saying it to you last that's night, wasn't I? Like the first snitching on the cameraman vids, if you look back at them now, they look like classics. They look almost like I don't know, just like a like a moment in time that is just it just looks like a classic video. It doesn't look like we made it yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks well, like we made it however however long we made it but do you know what I mean but it's just I, I, I can't really explain it but it's like a classic like do you guys look back on like old stuff that you've done and cringe because oh, I know, cause I know when like when like a, an yeah. old snap comes up for me it's like oh, all the cringe time. a lot of stuff all you the know time. like we don't give a shit we don't give a fuck what anyone thinks do we like nah we don't we care we care what people think we won't be in this in yeah. This yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I put I, I always say this like when I fir- when we first started doing the faces I kind of hated I it I hated because it as well it was just kind of cringy like we were just it was almost like we were doing content for content's sake, just trying to blow. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, we are about that, but we don't just want to be those guys that are just chasing clout. We want to be like, we want to the be- the table as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be like actual good content that people can get behind and they actually follow us as people and mm. See the all that kind of stuff. Into it, the effort we put stuff. into it as well. So when we were doing the faces, it was kind of like, I don't really like doing it, but we'll uh, do it just for the for the content sake at the time. And we look back on that and maybe cringe a little bit. Especially when we didn't have the following that we have now. Yeah. Like we weren't yeah. like we had no followers. We were just these noobs pulling these faces. And yeah. I know for a fact they would have been sent in group chats. We got ten tens there who were cringing <laughs> out on these man. I know I've probably given a lot of girls the ick. Yeah. Like, we, had to put like, we, we, we had to put with that. We we had to put with that. Yeah, like, so what about what about, about now yeah. though? What about now? What about the girls now? that exactly. come, that come exactly. around bro, because, exactly. because exactly. of the faces like, exactly. or exactly. Out and it's like no one remembers us doing faces. They just see the followers and see the yeah, new yeah, videos yeah. and the stuff like that. They don't remember us doing those crazy ass faces and the process, man. It's the process. It's the process. I mean me and H just come back from a trip. We were away with a client and one of the nights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the nights we uh, we actually pulled up our first pod, yeah, and we were like, bro, like at the time we thought it was sick, mm. and we're, we're like, it's just it's right. just not it's just not it, yeah. And bro, we we we'll probably do the same in fifteen episodes time as well, and look yeah. back at this exact one and be like, we could have done this, 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 yeah, this. But yeah, yeah. It's the, the stepping process. That's how it works. It's all just a learning. At like this stage that we're at, it's a learning process. We're all learning as mm-hmm. we go along, and that's. That's what makes it great because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, there'll be man who will all have the same ideas as us in this room and we're just sat there thinking about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas we're putting it into place and we're doing what we can do to get to that next stage. It's Gonna so fucking get it, baby. Go on, get it, man. Go on, get it, man. One thing that I never really clocked, obviously, because from before we met up like half an hour ago for the first mm. time, <laughs> when, when, when you see you guys through like a screen and I'm just seeing you guys do the pranks, like I don't really think of like, okay. Obviously, I know it's hard work. I already said that to you guys. But like, okay, these guys are self-disciplined motherfuckers that are going to get up every day and get after it. Mm-hmm. Like you guys doing loads of stuff to take care oh. of yourselves and things oh. like that. So you box. I you box. into fitness. Do you bang gym as well? Yeah, every day. Every day without fail. Every day without... Yeah, we're, very, we're fucking... We're ruthless. Self-disciplined. That's, that's, that's the difference. Like, 
And I, I owe a lot of what we're doing right now to him. I got to give it to bro because, you know, I like to I like to sit about. I like I'm at uni, so it's a different lifestyle. You just yeah. there's a lot of free time to not yeah, have yeah, to yeah. do necessarily anything. And I, you know, I live with him for years, and like there's a lot of time where you don't do stuff. And he's come and live with with me up in Newcastle so that we can push this even further and stuff like that. And yeah, you moved to Newcastle just to go. I quit up his quit, job, quit, quit job, everything bro. to come live up in Newcastle and so we can get content on a regular basis. Fuck, you know. And I was, I, I was comfy, bro. I had a good job. Uh, shout good out job, to Javida, hey. shout out to Mo, Ash, Aftab, 30 guys. And, um, <laughs> bro, it's yeah, done well. Bro, it's was, different. I, was, I, was, I, was a, I learned a lot of that job. It was a, yeah. it was a stepping stone. It was a blessing to be there. But I just had to, had to just you know, follow the dreams. It's follow the end the, goal, bro. Yeah. It. You mean H come from uh, not similar kind of places, but we were both kind of set up. We come from backgrounds where we have family businesses. Um, we were in managerial roles slash kind of owner. Basically, basically we were the bosses, bro. Set, set up to have a good life. You were, yeah. you were youngest in charge. Uh, yeah, <laughs> literally, bro. Basically, that, literally. But that's what I used to fucking think when I was 17. Like, <laughs> I think I was a big baller for no yeah, reason yeah. at all. Like, I was interviewing people that were double my age, bro, to hire. Uh, but I didn't want the brick and water. I didn't want to be... In that, like, uh, I had my own dreams and my own things for our own shit, and and we stepped away, took a massive cut in our in our money, mm-hmm. um, but increased our freedom and our productivity, and also as well, like, we wake up every fucking day with a smile on our what face. What do your parents think about shit. what you do? We got fish and chip shops, mm. and my mom actually said to me, like, I felt bad because my dad was working every day. I was like, Mom, like. Like, I feel bad, like, I want to go give dad a day off. And my mom actually said to me, she was like, no, like, don't feel bad. Like, you're chasing your dreams, like, you're doing what you want to do. My yeah. mom has always been supportive. My dad has been supportive, but in a very different way. Different, yeah. Like my dad's like, yeah. he doesn't understand. And my dad's way of kind of supporting me is just making sure that I'm all right. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, always, definitely, definitely. Like, hey, it's like, you shouldn't, like, just come in the shop, like, this is the safer option type thing. Mm-hmm. Whereas that wasn't for me, bro. No, the older, the older one. generation doesn't understand the fact that you can pick up Don't a camera and you can monetize it and yeah. make some stupid amounts of money. Mm. Yeah, just like, do you know what I mean? Like, mm. even little things like obviously my TikTok numbers are nowhere near yours, but like, I remember I was getting paid to like a hundred quid to use a sound when I was active on my TikTok, mm-hmm. and nobody in my family could f- like get their head around the fact that I'm doing a ten second video mm. and someone is willing to pay that amount of money. Uh, have you guys really? monetized? We not have, but not to the extent that we want to. Like, yeah. what's the TikTok money saying? What's the what? What's the TikTok money saying? Not TikTok money's dry, bro. Not a lot. You you think for the like we were saying it the other day, like it was something like we'd done eighty million views or something like that in like a like a two month period or something Fuck like yeah. that. If we'd have transferred that onto YouTube and we'd been doing those views on YouTube, oh, stupid amounts, bro. Been in the money, bro. We'd have been yeah, in the money. We'd, we'd whereas we'd been, right been in the G Wizzy, bro. But <laughs> instead, do you, do you guys post on Shorts? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, we do that on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's how we got 10k on YouTube. Okay, and sick. that was literally just from Shorts, Shorts, Shorts. We got one actual YouTube video. Mm. You need to be posting more, bro. Oh, we do. This is the thing. You need to get on Snapchat, bro. I yeah. Told you, boys. Yeah, I so like that. Thing. I like that. I never thought of that Snapchat idea, but I like that. They've just changed it, so there's like every three snaps, I think it is. There's an advert. Oh, on is a it? Public profile. And you get paid for those adverts, do you? Of course, bro. It's yeah. the same way that they would get monetized. Yeah, no, like an advert. Shit. And if you're posting 15 to 20 stories a day, even just you, man, just yeah. doing your, and you both logged in, yeah. doing your day to day, and then you post three or four clips or behind the scenes clips, and then the end product. Yeah, well, no, Genius this idea. is the thing, yeah. you know, as I mentioned before, like, we're, life's crazy, and we do need to just, this is a change of a period we're in right now, isn't it? But, you know, the ambitions are, and the, the goals are to get to that where we're smashed out, consistent YouTube, mm-hmm. you know, Snapchat, and just full focus and energy. Know, like I said, music, holding down nine to five jobs, you know, boxing twice a day. I do two jobs at the moment. I literally two do two. I work seven day weeks, uni at the same time, and run Golden Boys. So I don't. I respect I'll, I can't, bro, I don't sleep. Obviously, I can't say I relate to the two jobs, but I mean, like, we, we kind of know what it's like, bro. Like, especially yeah, like when we, we used to do YouTube back in the day, and that was like a, t- a 10 minute video every week. We'd go out, film on the weekends. That would be over two days. Like, it was only a vlog, but. That'd be over two days, and then we're working full time in a business, and then it was mm. trying to fit edit in around that. Bro, you're not enough hours in the day. Bro, it takes like you know, it takes about two it. hours to, mm. to do a minute video. You know? <laughs> you're telling us, like, I, you know, I can't lie. Two hours on a minute video, is <coughs> yeah. nuts, bro. I, I get that minute video in my hands, bro. I'm it. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, bro. You can't compare these man to each other. You know, because he does the 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 bulk of the editing. What do you edit on? Just CapCut, bro. CapCut, bro. You need to get something on your laptop. 
Well, it is, it is on the laptop. Oh, laptop. shit. Capcom. Yeah, laptop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I find it's quite a, like a, quite a good software. Easy. Bro, download them. Um, you should download like one of like the proper editing software. Just get free trial, bro, and just see what it's like. Yeah, then it, it takes a lot of time to learn, doesn't bro, it? Bro, it's a piece China. of piss. Easy. I'm telling you, if you if you actually wanted FaceTime me and I'll tell yeah. you the basics. Yeah. I, well, I showed him the basics. Or you man, cool. you man can set us up on a retainer basis and we can just take bro, care of all of you. He's not wrong, he's not wrong. I'm fucking with you, man. I like that, I like that. Have I you guys got, ever got into any altercations? You guys oh, have been out filming. Oh my days! Give us a few stories. To man, be I'm fair, curious. not as many as you'd think, mm. but literally not even a week. When you was guys it? mainly fucking go for old people. You nasty yeah. cunts. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why. Uh, nah, there was one. It was literally like three days ago. We went to Durham. We'd never filmed in Durham before, so we thought, "Fuck it, this is a nice, nice looking area." Is that the big complex that you went to that I, I Just think, I, you, were you live? <laughs> Were you like yeah, that one too. Yeah, yeah, that, that wasn't day. there though. It was that, that day. day. And you were like, the oh, day. they're telling us to go Smiths or something. I just yeah, popped yeah, into the yeah, live yeah. and no, I was like, that was in Gateshead. That was in Gateshead. So we went to Durham and um, we filmed it. We just did this one where there was a guy, st- we were still on this bridge, like the main bridge in Durham. If you know Durham, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to just say, it wasn't an old person. He wasn't disabled. He was like, a, you know, he's a big. <laughs> he was just he a normal guy. He was a normal guy. He's a big guy as well. Nah, I want big. <laughs> he want big. He was like, if we're being real, it was like five three or something like that. Yeah. So I pretended that I'd caught him, and like I caught him doing something. So I was pretending to be on the phone. And I was like, is this? He was wearing like a green puffer or something like that. I was like, the man in the green puffer. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Like you're just gonna have to wait there for one second. Like we just, <laughs> we've just. Whatever, whatever, something about like we've caught him or something. Yeah, yeah. Caught you. And then okay. I, I was like, I pointed at him with the camera. I was like, we've caught you, mate. We've I'm caught there. you. And he's there, like, and I'm literally like, come on, like pretending like to bring people over. And this guy's like starting to freak out a bit. So I'm mm. like, okay, cool. Like, content, a prank. yes. <laughs> like, I was, at first, I was thinking content, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> and then the second, I was like, ah, oh, this guy's a bit, this guy's moving a bit mad. Yes, P. Yes, yes P. my brother. Same, P. What's going on, bro? Where is he? You're good. My like, P in the building. P in the cut. Come That's say me, hello, bro. bro. We'll come say hello, man. He suddenly starts freaking out, and he's like, "I just suddenly had this thought, like he was gonna like jump into the river or something, jump off the, jump off the bridge <laughs> or something." I'm there, I'm thinking, oh, I can't get bugged for this, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, I can't last in prison. So I suddenly say to him, "I'm like, you be running prison, you back yourself, back yourself. <laughs> I'm in prison, bro. I'm be dropping the soap in the showers, man. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm sat, I'm sat in the corner in prison, scared, bro, about running prison. <laughs> yeah. So we tell him it's a prank. He switches on me. This guy switches on me. He's, he starts shouting at me. You're trying to, bro, he's trying to reason with him. He's like, oh no, we're just filming a prank. Like, we didn't mean anything by it. Like, mm. it's all cool. Mm-hmm. It's all cool. He starts going to me. He starts shouting and saying whatever he was saying to you. And then he points at me. And he's like, yes, you sir. chicken shit. <laughs> you chicken shit. And I'm looking at him. I start, chicken shit. Come here. <laughs> yeah. That's something your face. Did you get it? it? Did you get it? At least? All, yeah, we've all got this. And then he walks up to me. He walks up and gets in my face. He's like, this far away from me. Pushes me. He's like, Oh, what the fuck are you doing at this at this time? I'm just like, gee, like I don't really know what to do. The camera's yeah, still yeah, on me, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. trying to blend it like it's all cool. My heart's half racing. I'm thinking I don't want to do anything stupid. Here, exactly. like, no, no, <laughs> no. I was just thinking, bro, what's about up? And then he thought I was gonna, he, he thought I was gonna headbutt him. Or something. He's telling me to back off him. I'm like, I wasn't gonna do anything. I just didn't want to get away in the way of this small little man with this big. <laughs> Big attitude about him. He's, he, he wasn't happy. That's all I know. He didn't like me. He was happy with you, but he didn't like me. I'd, I'd clearly pranked him like heavy or some shit. I bet most people that you tell it's a prank are probably just like, they just laugh it off, no? Do you know what it is? We barely tell anyone it's a prank. We no. barely tell anyone. For me, I don't know about you, but for me personally, like the thought of having to tell someone that we pranked them, it kind of like cringes me out. Yeah. Like I'd rather mm. just go along with it and like actually. Uh, like I'm, you know, I'm talking like, cool cool like, 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 yeah, like, we, we don't care. Like, we don't care. Like, we're, we're fine. Like, a lot with of that. time, people see it and be like, all right, they'll, they'll find out eventually anyway. Like, yeah. yeah. But if you're like, oh, we just pranked you, it's a bit like, yeah. Like, there's a, there's a moment. Oh, why then were you you were filming me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. Just, we had to cause a little bit, you know. I'd rather avoid all that. So that's probably for the best, though. To be yeah, fair, definitely, definitely. No, I think. Well, obviously, we don't really do pranks. But I mean, like the way that I think of it is like if I had to prank someone, I feel too bad to walk off and then like be like, "Fuck, he was just." Well, you think these men feel bad? <laughs> no, we ain't feeling bad. We don't feel bad. I half wish we felt bad. That one time so, I just said them, we did feel a bit bad. Tell me about we, that but. story when um when we're in Leeds, where were we were in that Leeds place, and we were doing that snitch on the cameraman. That guy starts flipping. Oh yeah, so we do, we start doing this classic. Oh, 
And that guy's filming over there. Don't, don't quite know what he's doing. <laughs> Every time he gets <laughs> Don't know what he's doing. Time. And um, he immediately clocks onto him and he's like, I know who you are. You do those gibberish videos. I'm not falling for this, this stupid video. I'm stood next to him. He doesn't even know who I am. <laughs> like, so we're looking around. I'm looking at him and I'm like, is this guy clocked on or something? So I just go along with it. I just keep acting yeah. like I don't even know who he is. And it's like, oh, so this is the guy that does the gibberish videos. Isn't he? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I've seen this guy before. Yeah. And this guy's bare getting into it. And I'm just there blending it. I'm thinking, how have you seen his videos, but you're not seeing my video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's so, the main guy who's the main guy. In the you know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> so we just went along with it. And so, yeah, we have a couple of times where people are, and he follows up to the car, then he starts flipping Followed him to the car, yeah, following yeah, him to the van, saying? taking he pictures follows out it. to the car, taking pictures, flipping, I'm there, like, just... So is it, like, you should get the fur. Why I'm still, going, <laughs> I'm still going on with it. I'm like, I'm not breaking character. Even though the camera ain't rolling and people are going, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> That's what you got to do. Literally, you can't even break character. two minutes character. later, bro comes out, and bro, this had me in stitches, and there's a video where I'm filming, bro, come out, and then, like, he's walking, he's walking, the van's over there, he's walking past me, it's like this. You know, I was trying not to look at him to blend it like I didn't know it was. Straight, just, but like looking at me, I was just like giving him side eye, just yeah, <laughs> walking past him. Are you him. man banned from like your local Sainsbury's and shit like that? Like, how oh, can you actually go and get like your day to day? It's like oh, we don't shit where we. Eat. Oh, yeah, you just you always go out. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We never. We eat, so. Like our local town, there's a big twenty four hour Tesco in there. We never hit that before. It would be perfect for the stuff that we do. We never hit it, just because like. My mum and my sisters and me <laughs> probably were going in there on a regular day and it's like, if I go in there with them and I'm not allowed in there, it's, yeah. it doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? So we just, we try to go at least a couple of towns over and stuff like, when we're in Newcastle and places like, we'll do it anywhere. Like, yeah. it just, it makes sense, doesn't it? We're banned does, from what, a couple of places. What does, you, what does your family think about the stuff that you do? It's do an interesting one. I think both our families have different my, to be fair, my dad, he fucks with everything that I do. He loves it. Yeah. Because my dad, my dad loves my rap. Like, he's always rated my rap. He's, yeah. a big, he, he's a big fan of rap and stuff like that. So when See I started rapping, uh, yeah, he sees the end goal. He yeah. gets it. So, um, but it's a bit different from my mum. She's, she's very, um, she doesn't really understand it. Mm. And I, I, I appreciate that. I can understand that. She's not necessarily going to understand everything I do, especially when, you know, the kind of content that we do, it's not if you don't understand the process and understand what we're trying to do after we've done all this yeah. pranking and this and that, then you're not going to get it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I get yeah. that. You know, I, I love my mum. I love my family, but I don't necessarily share with them everything that I'm doing just because sometimes, sometimes if you share too much stuff with family, they're going to, they want the best for you at all times, don't they? But the best, the best, what they think is the best for for you might be might not best be. for them mm -hmm. as well yeah. at the same time. So it doesn't necessarily work out. So we just keep, me personally, I just keep what I'm doing to myself. And but they don't see any of the videos or anything? My, my dad definitely does. Yeah. My mum will have seen them, yeah, okay. but I don't necessarily think my mum looks at them and thinks... He's doing I'm his so thing, I'm you know what I mean? That's my boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I could, I could yeah, understand yeah. that. That's yeah, my, that's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, yeah. So, yeah, she's she's behind me in anything that I does. You know, I got I've got the support there, but yeah, I'm just doing me. We're doing we're doing what we're doing, and that's part of it, though, bro. As long yeah. as you know that you're doing you, and yeah. like that tunnel vision's there, you're gonna yeah. get to where you need to be, bro. And when we're all up, they'll understand it, won't they? Yeah, that's, that's that's bro, it's important it. as well. Like it, it, it's super tough, man. When the, the people around you don't quite understand what you're trying to do, yeah. But you're going like you're putting absolutely everything into oh, it, bro. It's 100%. tough. It is tough. Is is very tough. I think and it's a driving force as well, though. I, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree kinda, with that too. I kind of yeah. have to kind of go, I need to do everything that I'm well, planning on doing wrong, because mm. I prove them wrong type thing. And also as well, like if I don't, they're always going to be able to say like, yeah, oh, you didn't do you it. You probably shouldn't have yeah. done that stupid stuff on yeah. the internet and all of this. And look, people are going to look back now. And yeah. do you know what it is though? 10 years time, like if you're doing content, bro, and nothing works out, you could just go and get a fucking job. Yeah. You can just go and get a job. It's not that deep. Yeah. If you're <sighs> investing money into something that you, that you I don't truly think you passionate get, about. I don't think you man will get yeah, employed at a Tesco <laughs> or a Sainsbury's. <laughs> right? uh, well, the funny part is I work at Sainsbury's. <laughs> no, you I don't. I work at Sainsbury's. You know yeah. when you quit, you yeah. need to do like a video. I know, you need to I do know. something funny. That's the plan, yeah. isn't it? Like, if that's you work plan. At, have they not clocked on? Do you know what it is, Matt? Two... So you got your main manager at the top, That's so and then funny, you got like man. the little line managers, don't you? <laughs> All my line managers know they fuck <laughs> with it, like they be crying with laughter at it. Like yeah. people come into the store when I'm working, and they're like, "You're that guy from Golden Boys, can I get a picture?" Yeah, I'm like, I'm there trying to blend it. I'm in my Sainsbury fit. I'm just trying to be like a like the good kid, and like they'll Imagine come in and someone get pictures. Imagine someone came and did it to you. 
That's what they say. People say it to me as well. They're Would like, listen, fuming? if we knew that it was you in here, we'd have pranked you. And I'm like, don't do that to me. I'd hate that. Me. <laughs> like, oh, I can oh. give it. I can't take it. Don't <laughs> give it back to me. So back when we had about 20,000 followers, I was working at, um, in financial services in mm-hmm. London society. And uh, I was in London one time uh, about to take flight on holiday. I get to call my manager. I'm thinking, what the fuck is he doing growing at this time? It was like nine o'clock at night. And then I was like, hello? Hello, you all right? And he was like, uh, all right, Louis, you all right? He's like, I was saying da da da. I'm like, yeah, can I help? Yeah, just just a quick question. What's Golden Boys? So I'm there like, shit, like, you know, I was trying to keep it on the low. I didn't let anyone know. Oh, for real? I'm working in financial services. I'm, 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 I'm sat on a desk serving people, serving clients, handling people's money, completely against <laughs> all the company guidelines <laughs> and all that policy. <laughs> And uh, he was like, yeah, what's this? And, and he started flipping, saying, like, this, this isn't right. It's against company. Policy. You can't be doing this. I was like, listen, you, 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 you've got to carry on with that and, and, you, and you leave, essentially, you're getting fired. Mm-hmm. Or you stop that and you focus on your job. So I didn't even have no time to think. I was like, listen, like, I said, I guess I'm going to have to get a different job then. Mm-hmm. And then I packed that in and Set kept that. it moving. Don't drop. <laughs> Boom, Boom, don't drop. Don't and then I shouted you, didn't I? I was yeah. like, oh, and you were like, no, nah, no way. Bro, like we're doing our thing. You ain't got a choice. Yeah. No choice it's difficult so. though because we're at two different stage. Well, we were at that time. We're at two different stages in my life. I'm trying to run up uni at the same time as doing whatever we're doing. He doesn't go uni, so he's just got the job. Like, so for you to like hear that and have to kind of like have that ultimatum, have that decision, are you gonna do one or the other? I can imagine that being quite mad. I never experienced that. Yeah, especially when we like had had no attraction, we mm-hmm. had like twenty k followers, but it came really real, really I quick. Yeah, so much. Yeah. Well, I believe the vision and the planet. How much hard? How start. much hard did you go there? How much? How harder, did you bro? go there? So hard. much harder, bro. There's hard. no plan B. Like I'm a big believer. Back to the parents, you know, like you know, they 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 all love us, they want the best for us, but like. You know, no plan B, like we're getting it, achieving the dreams. That's my mindset. I'm sure it's the same for you, but yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, I respect it massively. Yeah. Um, like, even when, when I reached out, I was just like, bro, like, I think the energy will really work, the chemistry will work because I see through what your average person on TikTok doesn't see. Mm-hmm. I know you might aren't just going out there, yeah, you're having a bit of fun and stuff, but you ain't just trying to piss people off for a living. Do you know what I mean? I mm-hmm. know there's an end goal. I could see that you got hands and I can see that you're dropping bars. Mm. And I know that in this day and age, the best way to monetize your passion to is to grow hottest, an audience. Yeah. And two of the hottest industries out there. Bob exactly. The influencer boxing. Exactly. And the, and the music. Mm. So, like, I was like, listen, we're just two young boys trying to make it as well. Like, it would be dope. Mm-hmm. And we got it done, bro. So, got it done, bro. What's, what's the advice for you guys, actually? Just the end goal. Like, you know, where do you see yourself in a year and then, you know, 10 years? Um, to be honest with you, well... It's a bit of a tough question. I feel like coming from like family business backgrounds, business is something that's always really intrigued us, especially from a young age. Like from like 15, 16, we'd go just sit in coffee shops and just talk about businesses that we could start. Very right. different to what we do now. Yeah. We'd be like, oh, like <clears throat> we'd like, we'd go and sit somewhere for food and we'd really break it down. We'd be like, okay, how much do, you, do we reckon these guys actually do a week? And then we try and- from okay, a young age yeah. as well, bro. Yeah. 14, yeah. 15, 16, like we, we were doing that. Like it was always interesting. So I feel like business will always be something there, whether it's property or something like we'll be involved with business. Mm. The podcast, we can both see ourselves doing it for a very long time. Yeah. The thing with the agency at the moment, it funds everything. I feel like I can definitely see myself doing it for a long time because I really, really enjoy it. I just love making content. The coolest thing for me is that my full-time job is a passion. Mm-hmm. But yeah. whether that will be the content that I'm creating forever, it will be for other people. I don't know. It depends if the, like, well, not if. When the pod goes crazy, what are the... What are the Ventures and yeah. avenues. Do yeah, we what else we have going on? Yeah. It's, it's really dependent on where life goes. I mean, it's not really too set mm. in stone, is it? Before, when mm. I was w- probably one of the best mental switches that I made was when I when we both used to do YouTube back in the day. I was so fixated on this end goal of a hundred thousand subs, milli subs, like just just YouTube. But now I just put one foot in front of another, and I just take life as it comes. And I've noticed yeah. that I make way more progress like that. Yeah, best way to be, mm-hmm. definitely, definitely. I see it with you boys. You know, your big big personalities, big characters, confident, carry yourself yeah. well, professional. Like, appreciate that. You can do what you want. You know, just follow your heart, follow your passions. Yeah, bro. I would I'm say a, the same, but you, as well, I would bro. say the same, but it's you guys. Like, Sir, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously, yeah, I'm not messing, man. I'm messing. <laughs> we 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 wake up and graph, bro, and obviously. Not a lot of people get to see the side of you boys where you do the fucking same as well. Yeah. Because you are just the jokers on the internet. Yeah, no one but sees that. No, no one, one sees no the one behind sees the, the scenes stuff. Place, you know, oh. Me, Kitchen, Jeets, living together, boom, it's right. No one sees oh, the arguments that we have. Me and this guy fall out regularly. You see it. 
kitschy is like, it? What about this just dumb just stuff? That. Like <laughs> a, any anything, anything like food. yeah, bit of anything. Like <laughs> if something's not going as right, like. We'll get at each other, but it's it's healthy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like we're not. Yeah, yeah. We I never I would never fall out. Of this guy, this guy, my brother. He's been my brother since I was about three years the old. Big best, big personalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course they do. We're both we're, leaders as well. We're both, we're both leaders, you know, so both. we're gonna have that. But at the end of the day, we'll we'll sit, we'll have an argument, we'll sit at the end of the night, and we'll be fine. And it's just like it's at least we've got that out. More out like there. bickers. But all, yeah, I mean, yeah, all it is yeah. is like. You know, I want, like, I want you succeeding, bro. Like, yeah. I believe in you. I believe in all the brothers. You know, like we're all talented. I just want to push. I want us all up. And like, it isn't. Refreshing. It's not an argument. Is in like, listen, like it's like, bro, like come on, like, let's get it. Yeah, bro. yeah. What it's it's motivational it. behind it. There's yeah, no you like. You have to have you know, those people around, yeah, bro. Definitely. Imagine, like, imagine like, someone, someone to check you, bro. Hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. I know enough, man. That you know, man, I'll just chill and they'll be friends with. Like you'll have your boys, but man, are doing this and that, like little jobs here and there. They're just. Almost like bums, bums, yeah. <laughs> Essentially, you yeah. You don't want to call yeah. out the boys, bro. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Shit, man. And it's like you could be doing more. You could be doing this. You could be doing that. This guy will tell me, and I'll tell him. And like these men here, they'll tell me. Like that's the best way it should be. Like man, that actually want you to go that extra step, get that extra, it, extra bit further. Like because what we're doing, what we're all doing, is not easy. Yeah. So you need those people who, at the same time, who are gonna see that. Like tunnel, we've got tunnel vision, so a man can look at it on the outside and give us a little yeah, insight on what we need to do. We'll listen to it. And I don't like being—I don't like being on anyone's case. I'm yeah. like, I don't like saying that. Don't want to have to say like, but you know, because we're very different at the same bit, time. Like, boys, let's get yeah. it. Got one shot at this. Like these are the make or break years right here. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We're still young. Don't get it twisted. We could fuck up for the next ten years, and we're still young. But like, boys, we need to put it in now. Do you mm. know what I mean? Yeah. This, yeah. These are the make or break years to be grinding. These the main—the main thing for me is I don't want to. I've always said this. I don't want to get to like. 40, 50, 60, and be like, fuck, like, I wish I did that when I was yeah, younger. I wish that I tried. But like, I, I wouldn't be able to live with that. That's why we're going so hard. 100%. Yeah. We, Even said, to we said it earlier as well about the, the 20 years from now, you're going to look back and wish for this present moment. Mm. It was like, ever since this, this decade started, ever since 2020 hit, it was like, this decade is either going to make or break us. Because mm. we got 2020, 2030 come around, I'll be 31. My name will be, you know, reaching <laughs> yeah. 30s and stuff, bro. That's a huge... Huge bit of time. It's this decade here that's gonna matter. This this bit of time, like what we do now, that's gonna reflect that yeah. what's gonna be on for the rest of however long we're about. The twenty twenty decade so will be the graph, bro, and the twenty thirty yeah. will be the yachts. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Sales, boys. I love that. That's how I see it. Yeah, that's how I see it. I don't see it any other way. The it's a private jet for me, man. That, yeah. that really tickles my balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, we, we were on the way to uh, we were on the way to two bars and literally last week, and H was like, me and H just looked to each other and we were like, no oh, man. Fuck, we in a queue. We need to, <laughs> like, bro, like, we need, we need to fly private, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me and H just like sat in the little fucking. No, do you know what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what it is? The past, bro. When I go to the airport, I get pissed off that I'm not in a fucking know, private jet. I know what you mean. It pisses me off, I know bro. What you mean. Why am I in this queue? Like, I know this with all these other NPCs, man. Bro. I should be standing <laughs> in my own queue. <laughs> like, NPCs everywhere. Yeah, man. I should be in my own queue. Like, do you know what? It's not like that. It's like what? Like why do I need to be like? I'm. I can do more than just fucking flying on a normal flight. Like yeah. I can, I have the ability to fly yeah. on a private jet. I have the ability to and do most man nice don't things, think like bro. that. A lot of man don't even think like Every, that. Every I, I saw something really interesting in a podcast. I, I can't remember who it was, but they um. Every single person that's born is amazing and they can do great things. Mm -hmm. But it's whether you're going to apply yourself. Or mm -hmm. It's Completely. so true, bro. The, there's nobody's at an advantage or a disadvantage from who they actually are. No, I understand yeah. upbringings and the cards that you're dealt. Yeah. Is, is, that's a different story, but everybody's still starting from somewhere, and there's bound to be someone from your position that has done it. Mm -hmm. You can make it happen. You can make it happen. However, if someone's whatever start of you've had, like literally, like you could be a millionaire and have have all these, you know, these little handouts and, and make it that way, or you could be at the bottom of the line. But there's still surely, obviously, I'm not from the bottom of the line, but I just think surely there's ways that. You could make it. You could you could do certain things. I don't know yeah. what it'd be. It might we're be. We're in a day and age now where if you've got one of these motherfuckers, you can do anything. And you got Wi Fi, bro. You can do absolutely bro, anything. There's fucking 16 year old kids that are trading fucking crypto. Yeah. Being millionaires, bro. Yeah. Like, it's a thing, bro. Yeah. And that kid wakes up as a fucking wank and <laughs> yeah. trades and goes to sleep and yeah. plays Xbox. There's That's kids that it. play Minecraft all day. Yeah, and they're bro. making millions yeah, a year. Bro. What the fuck is bro, there's I don't like, play Minecraft. I, I, I don't know how time to live than. Than the times we're right now, like the amount of opportunities that we have. Mm -hmm. like, you no say that time. though, but I think that's a perception that you have. You think? You because you you say there's no better time to live because of the opportunities we have, but there's another twenty two year old twenty two right mm -hmm. that 
thinks there's no opportunities. No, no, not that doesn't have them. Thinks think think no, they don't have it. They yeah. Do. yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that. It's your perception of there's so many opportunities. I mean, there's I've so got many things to go get. Like, even if we were dealt the, the cards or like, even if the cards stacked against, it's like right. If We'd no one's there. done this before, then let's be the first. You know? yeah. Let's do it. Let's be the first to do it. So that's a question that I think that we probably get quite a bit. Is like, if you didn't have that that plan B to fall back on, would you guys still be so hungry to go and get it and do something different? I, th- I think that we would, bro. I, I think, think we just would have started earlier. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's just something you're born with? You just got to yeah, bro. I mean, like, fire in your heart. my dad's got it, bro, like, in a completely different sense. I mean, he's got, I, I can't remember if I told you guys, but he's got fish and chip shops. Like, that's like his thing. Like, and he's got it in that sense. Like, my dad's a fucking grafter, bro. Like, mm. I see him, like, he's a grafter. But I'm, I'm still a grafter, just in a completely different way. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. What, and he, does he though, see bro? that? Does he see that you're grafting in a completely different way? I th- do you know what it is? I think he, he does he, now. Yeah. No, nah, he did before as well. It's like, it's weird. I remember when the old manager at your shop. Yeah. I used to, I used to, I went into the shop one time and I said something and we were having a really deep convo. And um, Chris's old manager, I was, I said to him, I was like, oh, like, it's just a bit tough at home, my old man and stuff like that. He's like, he's like, bro, he's like, you know, your old man's really proud of everything that you're doing and mm. like that you're trying to do. Mm. He's like, I was like, what? Like, he's never really said it to me. He's like, he comes in all the time and he says like, and he, he doesn't stop telling me how proud he is and everything that you're trying to do and how hard you're working. It's just something that he hasn't... Probably now, I can't I can't really think of it if we've had the convo recently, but he's always asking me about the business and clients yeah, yeah. and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, he, does, yeah. he does appreciate what I'm doing, bro. Yeah. We had, we had a tough debate, though, the other day about... I was arguing that it was really easy to make money now. It's never been easier before mm. than ever. My dad was fuming. Yeah, yeah, he's nice. a proper old school cotley. Nice fucking not you little <laughs> cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, all he's ever known is that I'm going to stand behind this fryer yeah. from the moment we open the door to the moment we close and I'm going to cook. Yeah. And that's the only way And I'm going to speak to every single customer that walks in. And if we're busy and we have a good week, then I'm walking home with some money. Yeah. But H will turn around and say, yeah, well, I just did three of these 15 minute. 15 second videos and I did this and he's like fuck off no. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hard for them to understand to get, get their that. heads around do it do you know that. what I mean because imagine us being their age and all this new technology and these new things that people are doing and these TikTok and all this kind of stuff yeah. comes about I'd be, I'd be as confused mm. me I wouldn't even know what was going yeah, who's on who's to say that it's another the generation happen, before yeah. us no who's to say the generation before us weren't doing shit like you but just didn't exactly. have the facilities to go like exactly. that it's, it's like, never been, and put it out it's, and never, distribute it's it. never been so accessible to be like to start a prank show to start a dating show or, or something like that online because podcast, you do anything you want but before you, you guys anything. needed a whole production crew a director mm-hmm. producers you needed funding now mm-hmm. you guys you could have well you did just start with your phone you just went out and just did funny shit <laughs> literally <laughs> just out with a phone like anyone anyone could do it that was why we were so amazed that no one had done it. Mm. Just because how easy it was, like, and especially with TikTok, you were you, TikTok uh, at a point at TikTok, they literally were giving anyone the opportunity to go viral. Yeah. All mm. you had to do is have the right content, yeah. and we did have the right content, so we were going viral. Like anyone, like I could literally, I could never have done this. Pick up my phone tomorrow, get the right content, and go viral. So why aren't more people doing it? This is what I don't understand. Like, I think mean, it's just courage, bro. I think it takes a lot of balls. It takes a lot of balls. It takes a lot of balls. It takes balls to even just make that f- take that first step. Yeah. Put yeah, yourself I out there. That. Do something that's a little bit different that Be people aren't really doing. Yeah, I get that. Be I a do talking point. That. Because like you said at the start, when there's not traction and you're pulling those faces and the girls are getting ick and all of this type <laughs> of stuff, fun. bro. It was not fun. fun. I used to get <laughs> my, my, my first was oh, was <laughs> These man's boys are behind the cameras creasing, yeah, bro. Them man are laughing in the back. Because these man know the best. Like, yeah, these man these man don't have to pull the faces and shit. Yeah. Like, they'll still get girls. Yeah. We have to pull faces <laughs> and shit. Bro, I remember when I my first kind of, my start to like making content was I started like a gym page on Instagram. And bro, all the time, bro, I used to get fucking violated. Yeah. For it. Like violated, bro. For yeah, no you reason. do. You do. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I've always said it to him, like, how, what kind of person have you got to be to sit there and type something negative on someone you don't yeah, even know? Especially in this you know day and age, with how many people you, who are hating, that are, are talking down on you, that are sending group chats. And, yeah, you know. that's why I've never really cared, because... It's only a certain type of person. Bro, it's only a certain you know type. Though? Yeah. When I was 16, bro, I used to be that guy. Yeah. I, I know that I used to be that guy, because things would get sent to the group chat, and I'd be laughing at people trying yeah, to do their yeah, thing. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But until you... I don't... It's not just until you start actually doing it. Obviously, there's good people but mm. for me I realised that shit like this stuff's actually hard and like I want to do it and people are trying to violate me for it like I'm just trying to do good things mm. until you kind of put yourself in that situation you don't understand yeah, how damaging that. that that can be to someone do you understand yeah, what I'm saying 100% definitely, well, some definitely. words could be Ultimately, as well, we're trying to do something good with what we're doing. Like, yeah. people think, oh, all right, you know, when people kind of get the gist why we're doing it, they're like, oh, you know, all right, they're chasing clout, they're just trying to get paid, whatever. Like, 
that's all a bonus, bro. Like, what we're really trying to do is change the world. Like, I love inspiring people. Mm. You know, we've got good hearts and we want to we wanna make a difference, leave yeah. our mark, do good things, you know, do charity. Like we've, yeah, we've got plans. Like, I've literally said it to bro. Like, we want to go out to Africa. We want to be helping in these. Bro, we literally yeah, said we've, this. We've yeah, said this so many times. I'm so bro, down. I'm so one, down. The one thing we, we, said this, go, we said this on a really early pod, at, but we were in the Apple shop. And some little 14, yeah. 15 year old kid walked in and like his AirPods broke and they were like, it's going to be this much to replace him. Mm. Me and Chris looked at each other we were like, fuck, like, if only we had the money just to- I'd love to do bro, that. Bro, like he, he you go, love man. to do that. Bro, that would love make it. his year, yeah, bro. Some yeah. little 14 year old kid that can't afford yeah. 80 pounds to, or 100 pounds, have much come in, yeah. bro. And what's 80 to 200 pounds? We're like, really? Yeah, it might be a bit of money, but like, what is it to- like, I would love to do that. Like, you know, like, you know, like Steve will do it, how he would just yeah. used to go out and just give money to yeah. people, bro, and how Bang happy they'd be. That would be unbelievable to do. Bang on, that's the end goal. Incredible. That's the end goal. We do all our shit. We do it on a, on a small scale as well. Yeah, like, yeah. Homeless people. Yeah, do but whatever we can, but go change lives and drop bags there, bro. That, that's, that's I incredible. love just that's walking, amazing, walking through the street, amazing. and like I can't think of a specific example, but you'll see someone that's down, like, down and out. They're a bit, they're a bit upset or something like that, and you'll just tell them, you'll just tell them, and you'll just give them some advice. You'll just. And it will, you don't even know what it's doing to them. It could yeah. change their life. Bro, it could change exactly how they feel. Something as about simple things. as a compliment to someone. Yeah, that's bro. all it needs. That's all it needs. Yeah, bro. Even even me, bro. Like yesterday, I remember I was walking out of a restaurant, and uh, the lady, I, I I opened the door for the lady, but she was like, you know, when it's like a little bit too far for you to open the door. Mm. But I opened it. I saw her. I looked back, and like, it looked like nobody had actually done anything nice to her for a year. Mm. The way that she appreciated me old, holding the door for her. Just little things like just do something nice to someone yeah. once a day, or do what like what's your good deed for the day? All of those type of things, letting someone cross the road, or like just the small little details that make a difference in someone's deep, day, bro. Deep. Bro, it's imagine if you just walk on the street and just like you might see a guy who's in a suit, you might have an interview, like bro, you're looking fresh, man. Go do what you do. Yeah, bro. He and walks bro, into that fucking meeting. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 change the whole energy, the whole yeah. attitude. Yeah. They'll go, like, they'll go get the day, and then yeah, you know, bro. Especially uh, to someone that's not as confident as well, bro. Yeah. You don't obviously for for all of us guys, like we're pretty big characters. Mm. If someone was to say something to us like, oh bro, like you're fugly, like we wouldn't even take any notice. Yeah, of not some even. people, bro, like it really gets to them. Yeah, bro. definitely, definitely. Bro, one of our boys from Manny that we we met at a, we so we met this dude at a represent event and he was actually working there. It was at end. And he's somebody that we speak still speak to to this day, introduced us to um Khabib's videographer. Like yeah, actually man, yeah. filming and directing a, uh, a documentary with Netflix for Khabib right now, Hard. and we sat at a dinner table with this d- with this dude, and the first thing up. that I said to him was like, "Bro, your fit's cold." Mm. At the yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how it started. I was like, "Bro, you look fly, bro," mm. and he stuck around for twenty minutes, changed details. Next time he was in Manny, hit us up, and again and again. Simple and again. as that. Simple as that. One and good we, comment yeah, can bro. change everything. Like, and and we literally were on the dinner table. Luke was there as well. This dude was um, at one of the biggest clubs in Dubai and uh, the owner, he was doing some work for the owner and he was just sat on the table with Jason Derulo, uh, went out, yeah. did the whole camp with, with Khabib and all like, it's madness. and this videographer did a, um, a world charity event, uh, a world charity, what was the thing? You know, like UNICEF um, yeah. and all of these types yeah, of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, bro, he did a project which was like big six figures wow. for three months madness. in his videography stuff. Incredible. And that network opportunity started from, bro, you look fly, bro. Yeah. Simple so, as that. I think it's mad how life Come works on. like that, you know. Like yeah. I'm a big believer in that everything happens for a reason. That mm. we're all meant to, you know. We're sat here for a reason, boys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll probably be changing lives in, in ten years' time, doing you know doing incredible yes, things. Sir. And, uh, you guys probably want to pl- like fly my jet or saying, "Hey, can I use the jet?" Yeah. I'll just shout again. Yeah. <laughs> the Goom's jet. Yeah, yeah. Just so the, the Golden Boys. You can have right. the Golden Boys yacht as well. We use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> shout us for the yacht. We'll shout you for the jet. <laughs> Sounds like a yeah. shout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you cut you, you up. What did you say? You were huh? saying something. Sorry. I was just thinking. It's just you know everything happens. I'm big believing everything happens for a reason. You know that you 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 meet certain people for a reason. Um but yeah, man, it's just like, yeah, it's all blessed. But life's a blessing, yeah. man. I feel the Lord puts people in your, in your position. I was telling these boys about, I was in Barbados last week. And, um, yeah, we're yeah. currently developing. Last week, like, that's normal. Like, <laughs> mom, is, <laughs> mom is dead. I was in Barbados so where everyone goes for their honeymoons and all of this. It's all about Barbados, bro. I thought you said the, the TikTok bag weren't there, bro. Nah, that's yeah, clearly, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> I'm not seeing the bag, but clearly, bro, I'm seeing I'm it. <laughs> I'm not talking about the bag I'm stealing, bro. Uh, um, He's got the secret Snapchat account. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sat, I'm sat, 
I don't even want to mention business class. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. business class, bro, and we're currently developing an app, right? Oh, that's a, cool. It's a genius app. You know, shouts to all the big minds in this room right now that help put it together. Um, but yeah, it's genius, bro. And I'm sat putting this this app together on, on my Mac, just pl- planning it all out. Eight hours I was doing it for, just just grinding it out. I get to Barbados, I'm jet lagged, no sleep, whatever. I'm queuing up in the queue, and uh, you know, airport airport's absolutely rammed. This queue is rammed, and I hear a conversation behind me. It's like, ah, oh, we're heading to Oystens. I'm like, oh shit, they're heading to Oystens. So I turn around, like, heading to Oystens, which hotel? Happened to be in the same hotel. Pure coincidence. Ah, oh, we might as well share a taxi. You know, have the price. Jump in a taxi to get chatting. What does this guy do? App developer. App developer, bro. He's an app developer. Yeah, yeah. So I'm telling him about the whole idea, and, and he's, he's got he's had his company. He's had it for like 20 years. It's a huge company. I'm telling him about the vision. He's like, he fucks with us. Mm. He's a legend. I'm like, bro, this is we're meant to be here for a reason. Life's we're, a very we're crazy. We're in this, we're in this, crazy, crazy. We're in this taxi for a reason right now. So obviously, yeah, exchange, get details, bounce to the hotel. Um, you know, I'm there for a week. Some more, you know, amazing people I meet at the hotel. But then. On the last day, like I just like, do you ever get a feeling where you just feel like you need to be somewhere? Mm. So I felt like I had to just swim out to this pontoon one last time. You know, you know, planes taking flight in an hour. My parents saying, "Fuck it out, there we go, fuck out." You know, you gotta get a change and shit. I swim out to this pot- pontoon, meet this guy, and um, again, tell him about the vision, and everything, and, and he's a, an investor. You know, worth like four hundred million. I'm chopping it up in this pontoon, chatting to his kids. I'm and obviously exchange details, tell him about the vision, and I'm like, bro, this is blessed, like. The laws at work, you know, we're meant Sick, to be having these conversations, you know. So, I think it's an output yeah. thing as well, bro. Like, what you put out into the world is what will come back to you, most definitely. And you, man, are saying that, like you said, you see that guy in his suit and you say, Bro, you look fly when you didn't need to. Mm-hmm. Those things they, they, they add up, bro, and come back, man. They, mm-hmm. they, they do. Um, and a, a lot of people will think that it's a, it's a dog eat dog world and not everyone can eat. and if your mindset is I want to make it, I want everyone around me to to eat with me, and mm. and also as well like have pure intentions just to life, mm. like it's gonna come back, bro. Hundred percent. Gonna come back. A good around. heart, and an honest heart act with integrity. It's only See right, it, isn't yeah. it? It's only right that it comes back to you. What do you man think of Barca though? I wanted to ask that. What do you think of Barca? We, it's a two completely different experiences, bro. Mm. We went when we just like a couple of weeks before we went into the first lockdown, bro. That was a. Uh, that was a completely different holiday. Like we went club once or mm. twice, I think. I can't, I can't remember. And like we actually saw the city, but the last time we went, we were in like a little village, like mm. 40 minutes outside Barca. Okay. And we were working as well. So it's two completely different, different yeah, experiences, yeah. but it's nice, bro. It yeah. is nice. I love Barca. Where's, where's like, you guys got any like dream travel destinations or anything? Where do you guys want to go? I want to go to America. You guys I've never, I've never take been... the content. Abroad as yeah, well. Yeah, oh, definitely. Bro, definitely. Right, bro. It needs to be right, taken bro. to America. Do you know what I mean? They like, got guns, bro. I know. That's, <laughs> the one, that's the one problem. Sir, why are you filming me? We'd have to, <laughs> <laughs> we'd have to be careful. We'd have to be careful. Greg's character <laughs> like that. Yeah, I'd have best to have stuff. the vest on me, the Kevlar. <laughs> you can't be messing about out there. Like shield and shit. But the like, first time you man break character ever, bro, someone oh, just got out. I know. I'm only joking. I'm not really that guy. That would be, do you know, this, you guys couldn't do this prank, but like you pretend, like you know, when someone's got a gun, they do their hand in their pocket. Yeah. You guys Shit. did that with the voice. Like, get down on the ground. <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing? You do you know why I got in my pocket? <laughs> you no, know, I'm missing me. So you get you shot for that. Bro, <laughs> there's your next one, bro. Next He's one, filming isn't you, and you get like some shitty little BB gun. I know. Why are you filming me? Yeah, I was just going to say, you get a ragged shot. <laughs> it, it. Wait, yes. so you want to go America? Where else are we going? Been in Dubai before. Well, I can't wait to go to Dubai again. Didn't I go think it's my favorite place. Yeah, place. I went when I was fifteen, so it's different experience. Like I'm older now. Got a couple of boys out there, so it'd just be crazy oh, mashup. Bali, Australia, Bali, Australia, Australia yeah. them kind of places. Yeah. Like, I really oh. want to go to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, mate. Blackpool <laughs> Pleasure Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Do a quick trip up Pleasure Beach. <laughs> I feel like us men are a lot more aligned than, than we thought. Well, yeah. I mean, definitely yeah. on our side. I don't know what perception you guys have. No, definitely, but, definitely. Um, just hearing you boys talk, it's like, it's really refreshing, man, mm. to see you guys doing what you're doing. Obviously, we're doing what we're doing a little bit, like, kind of sooner into our journey, let's mm. say. Mm-hmm. But just the way that you, man, move and operate and the way you think, it's very similar to mm. us. And 
It's best to have to like-minded people, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, bro, 100%. Bro, building that strong community around you is so right. effective. Bro. Everybody's going after it. Then it's inevitable. Like, the, you have to, bro. If, mm. if we were all one big group and you guys are slacking one day, but you see us smashing out our podcasts every fucking week, bro, mm. you guys have no choice but to do it. Otherwise, no you're choice. a bitch. Yeah. yeah, absolutely no choice. And that's the best way it should be. Mm. You know, there's, hey, man. There's, there's time, like, you could be comparing, oh, you're not doing this... I can't even think right now, but like <laughs> just, just stupid stuff. You know what I mean? Like you're not, you're not clubbing not enough, or obviously no one would say you're not clubbing yeah. enough. But oh, you, you know didn't what go mean? to the gym, bro. You ain't been gym yeah, in two yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of stuff. I it's guarantee. Just, sorry, bro. I don't mean to cut no, you no, up. No, no, you're good. But you guys are going out tonight, innit? Yeah. I guarantee you, you guys stop going out, bro. You're gonna notice so much more progress. Bro. Yeah. No, I swear to God, do, bro. We need to stop. If you guys stop going out and you guys lock in for lock six in, months, bro. bro, watch how life changes. Don't, don't get I'm me, telling don't you. Don't get me started on this. Oh, I'm always on the motivation. Bro. Bro. <laughs> That's, dude, that, that is you the know, difference. We do, We've got is, better. Is, We've is, definitely got better is. because especially being in Newcastle, Newcastle's a fucking party city, bro. It's mm. mental, like. Oh my days, the women that can't, get away, from can't it. get away from it. And we live bang in the city centre. Yeah. Two minutes away from everything active. But like. it hit the two, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not. Our street is passing far as we go. Yeah, yeah. 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 To go to, our, to walk so you can on see our the street. talent going out from the window oh. as well. <laughs> watching out the it's window, not... just thinking, I need <laughs> to be going out there. <laughs> I need to Sir, where are you really. going? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Where are you going? <laughs> no, I need to. I need to get involved. Bro, oh, yeah. you guys, you guys should do that content like on a night out. You guys should yeah. go out when people are fucked up. Yeah, Instead of, like even Your reactions are probably be a yeah, lot more yeah, fun yeah, yeah. because people are fucked up. People will be like, "What?" Well, they'll it's, probably get involved, bro. Be it's funny. better hard in Newcastle to... now, though. Everyone knows what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like we go imagine. anywhere, everyone knows exactly what we're doing straight away. Even like the snitching on the cameraman, like it's hard to do because everyone knows instantly. They've either they don't necessarily know it's me that's done it, but they'll clock that the prank, the prank, the when prank the itself. Out as well. The camera's out. You're snitching on the cameraman. They'll hear, excuse me, sir. They'll probably put two and two <laughs> together, so it's hard to do. I feel like we're too loose as well, like, but we're, we're too loose guys as it is. Yeah. When, when we've had a few... A few yeah, whatever, after the like, drinks, it's a bit... It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Like, <laughs> that, poor, that poor girl who was doing that interview, I was like, oh, thank you very much, high five, and it was... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy, this because he doesn't... I drink more than he does. He's the boxer, do you know what I mean? Yeah, he doesn't yeah, really... Yeah. But when he's had a drink, like... Turns into a dick. I can't even lie. <laughs> <laughs> like, where, where, did, um, where did Golden Boys come from? This guy, really. It was so, why? I've been called Golden Boy, bro. That's my boxing name. Right. So, big shout out to my dad, actually. So, I got my hair goes golden in the sun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Supposedly, no one's ever seen <laughs> it. I've never seen it. I've known this guy in ten years I, or twenty seen, years. I've never seen this guy's hair go gold. Well, my dad says my hair goes gold in the sun. Like, <laughs> it's just I, I don't know. I can't remember where it initially came from, but Louis Golden Boy, bro, was a boxing name, and um. Yeah, we were just scheming on time, weren't we? Just trying to think of all these oh, ideas yeah. for the for names. And nothing I didn't really like working. it at first. I didn't, yeah, I didn't I, did for you? whatever reason, I just didn't. Because we originally, when we first started TikTok, it was Jeeks and Dogs. Mm. Or Jeeks and Dogs. Like, we were just called that. And we had, like, 5K or something like that. Like, we weren't necessarily, like, going yeah. crazy with numbers or anything like that. And obviously, Kitch was getting involved. Our other boy, Dom, was getting involved. So we just thought, it can't just be Jeeks and Dogs. We'll have to, like... We'll have to think of a name. He fought a Golden Boy Brow. I was just associating it too much with Louis Golden Boy Brow. You know and then Golden Boy. Because yeah. I know that's what he's called. So I didn't... I thought it would be like us kind of working for his brand almost. Yeah. In that kind of sense. You know what I mean? No, I like, get what you're saying. As opposed to it feeling like a collective. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But as time goes on, we're literally known as the Golden Boys. Like, mm-hmm. it didn't even... It was almost like, we're the Golden Boys and then you got Golden Boy yeah, Brow. Yeah, but when I see games. it, bro, like when I, when, I, when I look back on it, like it just... It's almost destined. It makes so much sense. Yeah. Even with the golden boys and golden boy and yeah, but even if, if you were Jeeps, fighting like tomorrow though, and I saw it come up and that was your, your thing, I would have been like, oh, it's because he's Put part of the golden together, boys. It? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't be the other way around. Which is madness That's, yeah. because we were at this point where he he was established as golden boy brow, and then golden boys wasn't even a thing. It was jeeks and dogs. And now you've just said that where yeah. people would see it and they'd be like, oh, mm-hmm. Louis Golden Boy makes Brow, sense. he's part of golden boys. Yeah, it's madness. So I just build into this this the whole brow and the golden. Mm-hmm. Snowball effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. It's dope, man. Are you on Spotify at the moment? We've got, obviously, my man P in the back. Me and P have got a tune on Spotify. It's called, it's an up remix. Have Um, Have you got a producer as well? We don't have like one producer. I've, obviously, our boy bro Connor, he's he's a top top producer. Bro. Yeah, we'll, we'll play some of his stuff. Yeah, after definitely. Him. We can put you guys in touch. Definitely, because like, as I said, like I've done music since I was about fourteen. I first started with my P and another one of my boys B. Louis boys, like we went as Louis boys for time. Like we were known in the areas of Louis boys. That's where originally it all kind of started. And 
like, did the music thing. We were blowing, we were doing numbers like 10, 20K when we were like 15, 16. Like all people from the local area, like they were loving it, like mm. pushing the music and it just made sense. Like I just needed to do music and and yeah, I've not, I, I brought out a tune, a little freestyle on KODH, King of the Hills TV in 2019, something like that. It was the last time music's come out. Ever since then, it's just been loading, loading, loading. So, Did you say you got something like 150 verses before? 150 blood clap verses <laughs> ready. <laughs> I can't even, Glock's I can't loaded, get excited bro. enough. I actually can't. Like, loaded up. There's no safety on this Glock. There's no safety. Like, as soon. Been a night since where we been. There's I not been a night. This guy knows the bars because he just sits there and listens to me write bars. He probably gets <laughs> pissed off at me because I just <laughs> literally have one beat on for an hour and I just literally write, write, write to it and just keep going, keep going and just staying ready just, so we don't have to get ready. Think, do you think that you boys coming together as collecting and living with each other? Because it's something that I think would probably be the next step in the growth for us guys. Mm. Um, like, do you think that makes a massive, massive effect on your yeah. productivity? Yeah. I like, I just, I, we didn't even mention this to be fair. So, Obviously, as I said, I, I mentioned it earlier, like uni, it's a bit of a different lifestyle. Yeah. Like you don't have necessarily have the, you know, that routine that you have. Since he started living up with us, we've been, we've literally got it written down. It's like we get up at 7 a.m., mm -hmm. literally like go on a run straight away. There's this park next to our yard. Like we'll run 5K every morning, literally bang that out. Yeah. Straight home, me and him will fly to work. He'll get on with some editing for the day or whatever it is, like mm -hmm. whatever it will be. Back from home on a night, videoing, videoing from about 7, 7 p.m. to whatever time, gym. And it's just like this, editing, music. this routine that we got into. And when we're all living together, it just kick-started this routine. It's enjoyable. Well. It's enjoyable. Yeah, like, absolutely. you get you get into a routine and you're smashing something out. Like, there's no better feeling. There's no like, room for one you used to slack either. There's no, exactly, That's that it. as well. Be the last guy in bed. No, exactly, no, no, exactly. No, no. Whoever's the last in bed on a morning, because we've all, like, his room's there, my room's here, his room's there right next to each other. Whoever's up at last, you're thinking in your head, am I yeah, sucking today? Yeah. yeah. Standard, yeah. you're bang, bang, bang. Are you getting up? Are you getting up? A, Tate, Tate said it. He goes, if you live in a house with five motherfuckers, you wake up and they're going to do 100 push-ups every single day. You're going to do that as well. And if you don't, well, what the fuck? It's in, 100%. Why aren't you doing 100 push-ups? Everyone work. else is doing the 100 push-ups. 100% you know? does work. Obviously, I would, you know, there'll be times you'll live with your boys and you won't have that same regimen, that same... That same routine, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but when you're literally like, we're all locked in, we're like, yeah, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. It I happens. think that's the difference 100%. about just having roommates that you have similar interests and all this kind of stuff, all mm -hmm. having a group of motherfuckers that are locked in. A, a, a team, yeah. A team. A team, a team, a team. That, are, uh, that see the end goal. And like you said, television. Yeah. vision. Because like. I didn't live with these men last year. Like, obviously, we've always been boys, but mm. I lived with a couple of, couple of the other boys. And we just... I don't, I've always had a job, but we'd sit about and we'd just smoke all day and like just chill all day playing PS5, whatever it is. And yeah, it's fun, but what's it doing? Yeah. What is it actually doing for us? How like, good is it when you give up playing PlayStation? Bro? Oh my God. You I save so much time. So much time. Don't get me wrong. I love PS5. I love playing PlayStation, but I don't play it anymore. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I actually don't play it anymore because yeah. there's not time for that. Like, it's not like it doesn't do you nothing. Know, it's a temporary high. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't do nothing for you. Nah, I can't lie. I like busting one up. I ain't with all that. I was literally just thinking it. What's it do? But I don't waste my nut on random girls. I got go. I can't. I can't relate to that. I think. I think that's quite powerful though. When you got one girl by your side instead of just chasing hoes, bro. Ch like chasing hoes is one thing that I was, I, it sounds so crude if I say like I just gave it up but it's like <laughs> it, it is true though it's nah, like when, when you stop chasing girls bro it's I hear you. and you, you save so much time it's the same as giving up PlayStation the same yeah. as giving up a night out that's the one thing I gotta do for myself because me personally, I just I love women too much. I love I love <laughs> Bro, listen, I just love it. Do you know what I mean? They call me casting over for nothing. Do you know what I mean? Every man in this room can agree. Like I can't. I'm not. You know, I'm a horny motherfucker. Right here. <laughs> 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 God, <laughs> Randy old boy, Randy old boy, and this all this all this fucking. Golden boys, there's, there's, like there's nothing wrong with it, bro. There's nothing wrong with it, man. Yeah, just, it's just about balance with everything. Mm. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, it's, do, do you know what it is? It's the guys that are like just, just about getting pussy, bro. That's him in a bucket. <laughs> 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 yeah, this issue over there. Like, you know, I can imagine you don't really have too much of a problem. They're coming to you now, anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got better. It's got better. <laughs> I can't lie. Like, it does. You 
<laughs> yeah, that's it, bro. Like, are you set? Obviously, we, we get. Do you know how much stuff we get? Like, girls just sending it to do, onto do, our. Do you guys get recognised a lot? When you yeah, go? crazy, man. Yeah, every time in the gym, I'll just be, I'll be there, like big savages as well. Like savages, like gold teeth, like dancing about. They'll be like, yo, I'm thinking I'm getting it set <laughs> yeah, up. And they're, yeah, like, yeah. they're like, bro, that content you're doing is good. And I'll be like, I'm, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How does that feel? We'll be pulling up like. his pants when these men pull up on <laughs> the it? It's madness though. It is mad uh, because yeah. as I said to you man earlier, like yeah. we're just, we're, norm, we're, we're as normal as it comes. Like I'm literally, we don't, we do couple, we do content and stuff like that, but generally the day to day stuff that we do is exactly the same that we were doing before. Like, yeah. I love going local and seeing all the local women and seeing all the men and stuff like that and just partying. Do you know what I mean? Like, like it's nothing will change. And so for when when we go out to these kind of places, when we go to these kind of places and people are saying to us like, "Oh, can I get a picture?" It's madness because yeah. it's like. What the fuck do you want to I even when I said to you guys before, I was like, bro, you remember literally the joke in our group chat? You were that's, like, yo, that's what That's bro. madness for us. That's madness to hear. I was speaking to my boy earlier, my boy from who I'm going to studio with later, and he was like, he always put stuff on his story about us. Mm. And like people are messaging me and they'll be like, you know them, man. You know them, man. Like, that's crazy that like, you don't know yeah, them, right. man. It's like, really? I'm on a lot clued in with and locked in with. I mean, it's important doing. to stay grounded though, isn't it? You know, it's important to like, you know. 100%. Like, bro. You know, I'd be here in HS, I'd be tuning into his lives here, there, and he's like, listen, I've done so much for, like, I've got these my clout, roll me and you'll get clout, like, I made you a better person, bro, fuck clout, like. If you think clout, it's like, I respect what he does, whatever, but, like, if you think clout is a key measure of success, and it's something to, like, you fucking tap for, yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck clout's a bonus, it's all good, whatever, but, like, Could be it's about your integrity, is. your heart, your morals, like, that's, that's what it's all that, about, bro. bro. Mm, massive. Got a lot of respect for that. yeah. Do with stuff that keeps us grounded. I literally still work at Sainsbury's and I do it as like a way to keep me grounded almost because yeah. I don't necessarily have to work at Sainsbury's. I think it's so yeah. funny. Yeah. If it, if it wasn't for work at Sainsbury's, I'd be a cock. Like, I'd be a <laughs> dick right now. Like, like some of the shit. Do you want a picture of me? Yeah, you can get a picture. Like, like it's cool, man. Like, like, I'd just be a dick. Do you know what I mean? I think mean? it's so, so funny that you work in Sainsbury's and you fuck with like Sainsbury's. I know, I know. <laughs> and they, it's funny that they don't even clock on like... It's not even about the fact that they don't clock on. It's more so the fact that, like, that's actually what you do and you're doing it to the yeah, guys. Yeah, I know, that I know, I know. <laughs> but that's my argument. Like, if it ever came to it and they were like, oh, you're taking piss out of people who oh, work. No, and no, I'd, I'd, I'd be like, listen, I'd, I'd find it so funny if someone came up to me and started doing a prank on me yeah. whilst I was at work. So that's why we do it. Yeah. Like, or whatever excuse I'd come up yeah. with at the time. <laughs> do I have it a few times, know. actually, where, like, there was this time I was on the, on the train in Newcastle, but it was a little bit weird because I was on my ones. Like, I was just chilling, listening to music. I got a tap on the shoulder, turn to my left, and then this guy's like, meh, <laughs> meh. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, you good, bro? Meh. <laughs> like, it just wasn't funny because it was just me and him. There was no one to like get on the back. I couldn't quite figure out what he was doing. I thought, I was like, what? And he was like, and he was like, oh, I'm just doing what you do. It's a joke. And I'm like, Oh, it's all a bit fucking weird. It was on my YouTube channel, me and Chris did a prank once. Yeah, it's, not, it's, it's really not. It's not filmed the best and stuff like that. But we what like we were going up to people. We were like, excuse me, like no, we did go. Just, just, no, 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 um, we, we'd be like, excuse me, like my my girlfriend, like I'm just not pleasing her at the moment. Is there anywhere I can go and get like a big black deal? It was stupid. It was stupid. You guys could do that. No, yeah, yeah, no, no, it, 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 the, H goes um, to the security guards. We're in boring. Mm. There's like three security guards at the bottom of the escalators, and H goes, um, "Hey guys, uh, uh, my, my, I'm trying to get a, a big." Fucking dildo for my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, I said like boyfriend. That. And when I say like the biggest fucking dudes, and they're like, they're look, looking back on it, we we're probably like, fuck's sake. At the time, we thought it was so brilliant. I, even, like, I was, I was like, Chris was way better at that than me. I was like, uh, like I had to build myself up a little nah, bit. You do, you do. I used to watch practical jokes and be like, bro, that's a breeze, bro. Yeah, it's uh, it's tough. Actually, you really putting yourself in that though, situation, it's like that'd actually be quite hard to do. I feel like it's second nature for us nowadays. Yeah, at the start, it wasn't easy. Conditioned yourselves. Yeah, get get me involved. In a skit and let me see what I can do in it. Yeah, it's, that's, it's growth, man. Like it's, it is. It's literally just about doing it a couple times. In it, yeah. Yeah. smoke. Yeah. Smoke. So we, you know, when you said that you seen us at Smith's, yeah, 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 yeah. like that was the day. Like we were just on it. Yeah, like, on it. We literally that when I when I put on my live and I showed those different places, there was like six different stars. We, every we hit every it. single one of them with energy, bro. Like energy, like the best content, like good content, and it was like. Shit, what on it? Just rolling, bro. Like, each other, like, that's what it is. Like a year ago from now, we wouldn't have done that. Mm. 
Like, it comes out second nature, right. like, 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 yeah. like you yeah. man all know. It's growth, man. Yeah. yeah, it's growth. There's been times where I've kind of like, there's been times where I've doubted the niche for him because it's so, it's so much of a niche niche and it's kind of like, <laughs> niche, you know, niche. It is <laughs> a niche niche. It's a very niche niche, like, it's hard to monetize as well because, you know, yeah, like, you might have a fitness channel, some of that me and P are working on at the moment, shouts to P. Like what brands are going to come in and, and want to pay for people to yeah, take a yeah, it's like it's easy, to ma- it's, it's easy to monetize if you're if you're a fitness man boom we sell training plans like all right yeah. we're gangsters we're entertainers what can we do it's like it's very hard we see a man that have, have bounced into the game have come with their content they've been consistent they've put in the work they've overtaken us and I've, I've been like shit bro like should we be doing this should we be doing interviews should we switch it make ourselves more marketable and when i look now i was like nah we're, we're in this for the long run we're doing the right thing like yeah. even how we're growing as people like when the shit that it's setting us up for, you know, like, you hope one day, one day, you know, we're going to be in front of, you know, we're going to be at press conferences with hundreds of people and, like, when we're bouncing out into supermarkets, taking the piss, got hundred eyes on us. It's just growth, honestly. Like, the first kind of face video that we did, <clears throat> I remember doing it and just being shook. Like, it was just this normal guy and I was just shook doing it. And, like, now it's just, like, Don't give a I shit. literally walk up to whoever's out there and I just do it, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, and it's just growth, mm. like just growing as people, like getting in front of that camera and just. I think also seeing presence. rewards and reaping the yeah, rewards. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like it helps. Do you guys feel like you're chasing well. like the views all the time? Do you feel like that's t- that's always in the back of your mind when Ooh. you're doing your pranks? That's a good question. That like. I Do think, I think before we were a bit. But then when we realised what we could do and like people actually were clued in and they were like, yeah, these men are funny. Like these men have got a vision. Like. For example, like with Shadow Band now on TikTok, we're not banging views, we're banging like 30, 40k views, but we know that the content's good. Mm. And we'll take it over to Instagram and it'll do it'll do numbers on there. So it's like how TikTok works is like is I wouldn't I, I'm someone who when people say they're shadow mad, I don't actually believe it. How TikTok works is it's like set up so your first hundred videos, for instance, they know like that you're gonna get this set amount of views. Mm. As long as obviously the content's good and people are fucking with it. It's gonna be like within a certain range. When you get to that certain amount, they'll bring your views down on purpose. Okay. So that you keep putting more content out, so you keep chasing those views. Oh right. Really? It's, it's, it's a dopamine thing, bro. Yeah. yeah. I don't trust TikTok to be I don't think there's longevity in TikTok. I don't, like TikTok. I don't think you can trust take. a lot of platforms to be yeah. honest. Yeah, I like Facebook. I like I, I do like our Facebook. Yeah, I don't shit. necessarily <laughs> use it, but we literally <laughs> have our Facebook profile. Have you got it connected to your? Instagram? Yeah. So what, did, you look, did you guys actually post all your videos and stuff? Yeah, like that on Facebook? yeah. And they bound bro. Always connected to your Facebook as well. You just don't know it. Actually, yeah. yeah. No way. Yeah. I checked my analytics yesterday. I had like eight hundred people see my reel from Facebook. Yeah, I didn't even that's what I mean. Like we'd never, I'd never go onto Facebook. I type in Golden Boys and watch my stuff on there. But yeah. you just like be, you just got to think like. There's that generation as well that's above us, like the thirty to. And they'll still fucking quiet your shit, bro. Yeah, bro, exactly. that's our that's our demographic. Believe it or yeah. not, really. Yeah, our de- and our stats madness. are crazy. Young right? mums, do you know what it is? Twenty-five to Bare thirty-five is our most popular demographic. Probably like, like the WhatsApp people. Being forwarded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. forwarded many times. Then was yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. Set and it's the fact we don't chats. swear. <laughs> the fact when I'm saying flib instead of swearing. Like people have said it to us, they'll be like, I think the it, fact that you don't like swear, your USP, that's yeah, it's probably yeah. really smart. You can show it to the kids don't... and stuff like that. Mm. That's what they're saying. Like, I never purpose? even thought, mm. nah, not even. Like that first ever like video that. that I was like, I don't need to freak you to flip out. <laughs> like that just came. That was just there. <laughs> Boom, <laughs> <just> <laughs> said it. Like, I mean, every I'm, time he does it, I don't mean to flip you to flip out. Flip double flip. Someone's flip filming. I don't like it. You need to stop that right now. I've never seen from there, it just took off. It's like you guys, you guys should definitely stay with like the not swearing. That, yeah. that will help you guys out massively. I know you said about brands and stuff like that. Would they want to work with us? Yeah. If you guys aren't swearing and stuff like that, and you're not saying anything that's horrible, yeah. yeah. About people we've had like big shouts, Jono, Venna, yeah. like they'd be saying like, ah, oh, you know, like my kids be watching this. We'd be all be crying. It'd be a Friday night, and they'd be on Tiki, and they'd be crying out of stuff. Like yeah. that means a lot as well because like mm-hmm. when you're truly deep as well, like that's family time, bro. They're laughing at our shit, like yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's a sick. really cool way to look at it, bro. Yeah, definitely. Even I the fact that, like, people are messages and they'll be like, listen, I'm, I've am i been through some tough times recently, like depression and stuff like that. I look at your videos and they make me cry well after they bring me back and it's yeah. like, we're just messing about. Oh, and we're so actually, we're powerful, getting that reaction out of people. It's powerful. powerful. Like, yeah, we're we're, we're not reaching like the that. amount of people that you, obviously you boys are, but, like, yesterday, as an example, I was just at, a, like, an event thing and someone said to me, like, bro, like, your podcast gets me through my Monday shift yeah. every Monday. Makes you feel and good, I was like, it? Just from somebody that I would never expect, bro. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, wow. Like, yeah. I was like, bro, thank you, man. And, like, and it means yeah, a lot. It puts a smile on you, because yeah. you, you see the numbers. 
and you you don't ever think and break down the numbers that someone's actually that's one person has really locked in because mm-hmm. you can just see the 250k and you just see the 250k and you scroll again and hope it goes to 300 mm-hmm. do you know what I mean you're doing that refresh Hundreds. little do you know is like, like there's people that are viewing that fucking, over and yeah, over like again the, like back at school bro if your whole year group knew that you did one thing and knew you for something you'd be like oh shit mm-hmm. and every time you refresh your activity page that's a whole new year group a whole new year group a whole new I didn't even group. think about it like that do you know what it's I mean true, like, right? it's yeah, fucked yeah, bro I mean yeah, 60,000 people that's a full football stadium bro. Yeah. yeah bro and you think oh it's underperformed oh, the clip's done all right yeah. that's crazy you know a football I mean? stadium full of people yeah. that know that we imagine that, imagine a screen Madness. in a football stadium that drops down that shows you the your and podcast it's, it's, or yeah. Yeah. Do you imagine? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the like, game is about to start. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yo, is that what you Yo, Arsenal. Yeah. Arsenal FC. Wait, who do you guys support? I'm an Arsenal fan. Yes, yes bro. Yeah, We're good yeah, as well. On, you just about too fair with two guys. Leeds fan. I'm not massive. I don't this guy don't. No, this guy doesn't support I'm no one. I'm Leeds. I'm Leeds. You don't support anyone. I don't, I'm not, I don't follow it like that. I'll say I'm, I'm, I'm a big Arsenal, Arsenal fan. So like, we both. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't really yeah, want to yeah, take yeah. the pod too much the football way, bro. But as if we fumbled the. I know. I know. Do you know what it is for me though? I kind of, I half love what we've done this season because we've shown that we can actually do it, but we've not won anything, and it doesn't look like we're gonna win anything. So. Oh, at this man. moment in time, it's like bro, now we need to go get in the, the Deku Rices and the you know the big yeah, stars yeah, 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 and the yeah, yeah. people that are gonna make us challenge right next step. season. Yeah. yeah, it's a right step, but <sighs> it's upsetting that we're not gonna win the league. Obviously, it's not over yet, but I still think they might drop points. City, yeah, yeah. It's the hope that we have to have. Bro. I still think it they is, might, but the thing is, I think we've got some big games as well. We do. But we do. <sighs> Um, well, if you boys are gooners, I will have to step to it. I'm having to move on gooner myself, actually. Listen, me and H have already got on our bucket list the Gooms box at, box at the Emirates, man. Yeah. You boys are yeah, 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 man. You guys can fuck KSI and them, man. We'll have the Gooms box instead. I like that. I like that. I think it's a good time to wrap, boys. Yeah, man. Thank you so much for coming down. I really enjoyed this episode. It was a good episode. It's been fun, hasn't it? And I think we found a lot more, like I said earlier, similarities in you guys than we thought. And for sure, this is the start of, uh, I think, a really good relationship. Yeah, definitely. Quickly, before we go, to someone like at home that just wants to start doing content, what would you guys say to them? Jeez, good where question, where to start? Take every, oh, this is a good one. Take everything that everyone says with a pinch of salt because a lot of the time, there's going to be people out there that are going to give you your opinion, that are going to tell you it, what they might think. But you just got to take that with a pinch of salt. Just be like, mm-hmm. listen to what they got to say. But just, you don't necessarily have to take it too deeply. You just understand that they've got that opinion and just keep it moving. Like Keep it moving. Everything that everyone has ever said to us, we'll listen to it, we'll take it in, but it's taken with a pinch of salt. Like, we're not yep. going to get too upset by it or we're not going to see it over the top. You just got to take it with a pinch of salt. Oh, man. As that. I'd just say, you know, believe in yourself. The first steps are always the hardest to take. Mm-hmm. You never know where this journey, where your passion might take you. You know, back yourself, put yourself out of fuck what anyone thinks. Mm-hmm. And just go for it. Get one shot at this life, people. Life's too short. You know, you could be you could be greatness right there. Mm-hmm. So go for it. Don't man. Um, make sure you go hit up the Golden Boys on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, I don't know you guys. We're going to pop up all of your ideas. Yeah, we'll we'll get everything all of that. Don't worry about um, it. Make sure that you follow us on Spotify. Subscribe to the YouTube. Five stars. Like the video. Got to keep the comment as well. Why not? On this yeah. bitch, baby. Give it a little comment, man. So, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it's been a pleasure having you guys, man. Thank you for jumping Thank you for on. Having us, boys. Thank it's been you. Madness. Love. Peace. We'll catch you later. Love time. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> bye, sir. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>